2020 declares, And when he had so said, he showed unto them his hands and his side. Then were the disciples glad when they had saw the Lord. Again, I've taken for a subject matter. Have you seen them? Let us pray. Father, bless this, your word, Lord. Bless your people. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus, your word go forth in clarity, Lord. I ask that you would lead me by your spirit so that your people would be edified and you, my Lord, would be glorified. In the matchless name of Jesus, amen. We're talking about the gospel of Luke today, and we're talking about the disciples, hallelujah, how they kind of lost focus. But you know, these were men that were called of God, that left everything to follow after Jesus. And the Bible lets us know they loved Jesus, hallelujah. And can you imagine what that did when their Savior had been crucified? It kind of traumatized them until Jesus began to appear after he had risen from the grave. In the Gospel of Luke, the um, 24th chapter, it tells the story about two disciples that were on their um, way. They were headed toward a village called Emmaus. It was about a seven-mile journey from Jerusalem. The Bible lets us know they were all you know, talking about what the women had said and what Peter had said. And Jesus showed up in the midst of the journey. But the two disciples did not know that it was Jesus. And they became a little irritated about why he wasn't upset like them about what was going on in Jerusalem. Have you not heard what's going on in Jerusalem? The Bible lets us know that Jesus opened up their eyes and they saw that it was the risen Savior. Hallelujah. And it changed everything. I want you to know how many times have we been in the midst of a situation and Jesus was right there. Hallelujah. Working things out. But we were so distracted that you miss the Savior. I want you to calm down. Hallelujah. And know that Jesus has gotten all under control. He's working it all together for your good.